Hey guys, what is up? It's your pal Dave from notesandvolts.com and as some of you know, I also have a channel on Twitch. I broadcast when I'm in the lab and people can drop by, ask questions and generally hang out. It's really fun. So on one stream, I met a couple of guys who introduced me to a really cool Twitch extension they came up with called Get In Touch. Now right out of the box, the Get In Touch app allows you to control things like your Philips Hue lighting system, your printer, and a whole bunch of other things. But what really caught my attention was the Arduino library that they came up with. This allows you to interface the Get In Touch app with an Arduino board, and the possibilities are just endless at that point. So to test out the app, I decided to come up with a real simple project, and I came up with this bench display that allows my viewers to send messages to the display while I'm streaming. It's a 40 character by two row LCD display run by an Arduino board with a piezoelectric speaker for an alert sound. So I get alerted to check this display when a new message comes in. And when no one's using it, it reverts to this mode where it will run some pre-recorded messages. So it's a good place to promote some links or any information you want about your stream. And the 3D printed bezel kind of holds it exactly at a nice viewing angle that sits right on your desk. All right, so let's take a look at how you actually send a message to the display. So underneath my stream is the Get In Touch panel, and you just click Do It next to Bench Display. Now here's a picture of the, the Bench Display and a little message showing you what to do. And you just type your message. And once you're done, just click Do It. And there's the message. And there was a little audio beep to alert me so I could take a look at it, but it's really that simple. So here's how you install the Get In Touch extension and connect it to your Twitch channel. So under your dashboard extensions tab, just do a search for Get In Touch. And here's the extension. There's two versions, one with no bits and one if you want to charge bits every time someone uses it. I use the free one, but just click install. So next go to the Get In Touch website and click download and then download and install the PC app. Finally, to use the Arduino with our system, we're going to add the Get In Touch library to the Arduino software. Go to sketch include library, manage libraries. Once again, do a search for get in touch. And here's the library, just select the latest version and click install and you are done. So let's take a quick look at the software. So you're going to download this program called get in touch bench display and we're including the Get In Touch library that we installed earlier and also the Liquid Crystal library to run the display. Now, if you follow my schematic, you're going to set your piezo pin to eight. So that's where you're gonna connect the piezo speaker. These two variables here are the timing or how long the ads are gonna run. So 60,000 milliseconds is 60 seconds. So that means the ad is gonna change every 60 seconds. When a user sends a message, it will be displayed for 30 seconds. So you can change these if you want to adjust those timings. Here is where we actually uh, make the bench display text box. Here's line one, that's what its name is, line two. And this is the minimum amount of characters. So at least one character has to be on line one and it's 40 characters long. Line two, it can be zero, so that means line two is optional. And once again, that's a maximum of 40 characters. That way it's gonna fit on our display. So the main loop, we're going to use this git run, and we need to call that frequently so it will catch any incoming messages that come in. So because of that, all my delays are using a millisecond timer, so it doesn't use the delay function and lock up the program. If you go down to the message section, uh, this is where you can add your custom messages. So you can just change these lines to be whatever you want. 
But right now I have six different messages that will cycle through. If you want to add more messages, just add a new case statement. So case seven, and then copy all this stuff and then just change your messages and then go up to max messages and set this to be the maximum number of messages you're using. So in this case, I would set it to seven. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple program. So once you've got it all configured, just go to tools, select your board, Arduino Nano, make sure your serial port is correct and just upload it. All right, so let's take a look at the schematic. It's actually a pretty simple circuit. So here's our Arduino Nano and here's the LCD screen and here's our piezo speaker. And one thing to keep in mind, this is not a driver speaker. Some piezo speakers have driver circuits built in. So you just add five volts and they start making noise. This one is not that type. It's just a bare piezo speaker with two wires coming out of it. So we connect that speaker to pin eight through a 100 ohm resistor. The other side of the speaker goes to ground. We're going to connect the five volt of the LCD screen to the five volt pin on our Arduino. Here we have a 10K potentiometer and one side is connected to ground, the other side to five volts, and the wiper is going to this VO pin, which sets the contrast of the LCD screen. Next, we have uh, the VSS, the read write, and the LED minus all going to ground. So the LED plus and LED minus are the backlight terminals for the LCD screen. So to set the brightness, we're going to run five volts through a 330 ohm resistor into the LED positive, and then LED ground just goes to ground and that sets a nice even brightness for the display. We have our four data lines hooked up and we're only using the four. We're not using data lines zero to three. And then we have E and RS just hooked up to these two pins here. But yes, very simple circuit. All right, so let's take a look at the actual circuit board. So this is my Adafruit Permaproto board that I've cut to make it fit in the enclosure. Here's our Arduino Nano. And you notice the USB jack, I kind of put it just over the side so that this screw does not interfere with the cable going in and I find this works okay. I have the five volt running to this bus strip here. So this entire red strip is all five volts. I have ground running to this strip, so that's all ground. Here's the potentiometer for the LCD uh, contrast. Here's a uh, five volts to one pin, ground to the other, and then the wiper pin is actually going through a wire to my LCD. Here's the resistor going to the backlight positive voltage going to the resistor and a wire going to the LCD. Here's the 100 ohm resistor for the piezo speaker. So I actually have a wire under the board going from the Arduino's pin eight. And it hits this resistor here. And then the piezo speaker uh, red positive lead attaches there. The ground lead for the speaker just goes to a ground terminal. And here's the whole thing out of its enclosure. Here's a picture of the back. You can see the, where, the, where the speaker connects, the wires going to the LCD, and here's the wire connecting the piezo speaker to the Arduino's digital pin. So let's take a look at how I actually put this together. So to print off the bezel, you're gonna wanna follow the link in the video description to my Thingiverse page and download the STL file of the bezel. Just click the download all file button. After you have the files, open up the slicer program for your 3D printer. I use Simplify 3D and import the STL you just downloaded. And there it is. Now you're going to want to print this uh, face down. So let me just reorient this. And there you go. So that's how you want to print it on the printer bed. 
So some of the settings I used, um, my infill was 20%. I didn't use any supports. And the additions, I like to use a skirt just to keep it a little flatter on the bed and help prevent the corners from warping up. But once you've done that, it's a very simple print and there it is ready to go. So let's take a look at how I actually built this project. I started with an Adafruit half size permaproto board. The board is too wide to fit into the enclosure, so I'm going to cut it down by three rows. I do this by clamping a straight edge at the point I want to cut and then using a utility knife to score the board. Then I flip the board over and score the other side. Now I'll just apply some pressure and snap the board along the line. So now we're ready to start building the board. So I'll grab all the parts. First of all, I need my Arduino Nano. and some header pins to attach it. Here's our 10K potentiometer, a 330 ohm resistor and a 100 ohm resistor. And I'm also gonna need some standoffs and some screws. So now I'm gonna need to drill a couple of holes to attach the circuit board. So notice I'm using the circuit board as a template and I'm lining the edge of the board up with the edge of the enclosure. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm just gonna hold it in place with some blue tape. Now I'll drill the holes using the circuit board holes as a guide with a 1 8 inch drill bit or a three millimeter if you're using metric. Now I have attached the standoffs to the board and I'm giving it a quick test fit. Now I'm ready to solder the Arduino to the circuit board using the header pins. Notice where I'm placing the pins. There are three holes back from the edge and this will allow the USB jack to protrude enough that I can connect the cable. Now I'll start soldering by connecting the header pins to the Nano. Now I'll flip the board over and use some blue tape to hold the Arduino in place while I solder the bottom. Now I'll take some red and green 22 gauge solid core wire to wire up the onboard connections. First, I'll wire up the Arduino's five volt pin to the red bus strip on the Permaproto. I'm gonna take a small piece of wire and bend it into shape. Now I'll use a green piece of wire to connect the Arduino's ground pin to the blue strip on the circuit board. Now I'm going to solder the 10K potentiometer in place at this location. Then I'll flip the board over and solder it in place. Now we'll make a couple of jumper wires and connect the right leg of the potentiometer to the positive five volt strip and the left leg to the ground strip.
Now we'll solder the 330 ohm resistor in this location and connect one side to the positive rail with a jumper wire. We'll solder the 100 ohm resistor for the piezoelectric speaker right next to it in this location. Now I'll take some side cutters and cut all the excess leads off the bottom of the board. Now that the circuit board is done, we need to connect it with wires to the LCD display. I'm using some really thin 30 gauge stranded wires for this because they're a little more flexible. Make sure that the wires are long enough that you can place the circuit board where it needs to be in the enclosure. On the back of the LCD display, you'll find a row of pins labeled 1 to 16. We'll refer to the data sheet to figure out what each pin is. By using the data sheet and the schematic, you can figure out where each pin on the LCD connects to the circuit board. Take your time and just make one connection at a time. It's a little tedious, but you'll get through it pretty quick. The last thing you need to do is solder the piezoelectric speaker to the board. Now that all the wiring's done, we can start final assembly. I'm gonna use some nylon standoffs to attach the LCD display to the plastic enclosure. Now I can insert the LCD into the enclosure and fasten it with four screws. Now I'll install the circuit board using the holes we drilled earlier. To attach the speaker in place, I'm going to use some double-sided foam tape. And that's it! We are finished! Now I'll just grab a USB cable and make sure everything fits. So that's it. I hope you found it interesting. If you're a Twitch streamer and an Arduino enthusiast, the Get In Touch app will help you combine those two worlds together in a very simple way and have you building gadgets for your stream in no time. Once again, I'd like to thank my patrons. I got some new ones from last time. Please check your name on the board and thank you very much. And I will see you next time.